Hello, my name is Bev Bohack, and I'm an occasional organist here at Trinity Lutheran Church. I learned how to play the organ over about 50 years ago, and it was all the fault of my big brother. He chose to have an organ rather than a car for his 16th birthday. And being the frugal family that we are, of course everyone in the family then had to take lessons. Our organ teacher was an old family friend, Edna Michelson, and she was famous for playing piano for the silent movies, as well as in accompanying Johnny Carson in his magic act when he was in high school. However, her main goal in life was to produce church organists. Many people are intimidated by the organ because not only does it have two keyboards, but it also has pedals. So you're actually um, playing all three at once, which can be um, a little problem with coordination at times. Her uh, main focus for the church organist was to provide hymns for the congregation to sing and to make it singable, as well as some inspiring uh, music in between. However, she was not a fan of flamboyant uh, body movements and would always tell us to just be very serious. Well, I had, would have a difficult time doing anything out of the box because in my home church in Norfolk, Nebraska, it was a big cathedral and the organ was up in the balcony. I had my back to the congregation and I had a rear view mirror to see the minister in his little white blob um, to give me cues for the liturgy. But if I would have decided that I wanted to throw myself back in, in song, all that was between me and the first floor was a small iron rod with a velvet curtain on it. So that would have caused quite the stir. As the junior organist, I was of course given the undesirable services to play, like communion because that required a lot more music, or the, the lesser holidays like Thanksgiving and New Year's Eve. It was a tradition in our church that after the last hymn, the organist would play a little interlude so you could do a little self-devotion before you left the church. Well, in those days, the Nebraska football team was um, a national power, and they tended to play in the Orange Bowl on New Year's Eve. So one New Year's Eve when I had to play, during that interlude, I played the Nebraska fight song on the chimes. I think my mother probably got a case of whiplash when she was whipping around to see who was doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to play for you this morning, and um, in the spirit of Edna Michelson, I'm going to have Bill just focus on the cross instead of on me so you can enjoy the music, uh, sing along if you know the words, um, pray, whatever you would like to do. I'm going to do some Bach because he was the original Lutheran composer and um, some old hymns and I will try to maybe change around the settings on the organ a little bit so you can hear uh, different sounds coming from the organ. Thanks. <laughs> 